This week's episode is the first in a two-part series looking at why 90% of beginner guitarists quit in the first 12 months. So if you want to be part of the 10% that's successful with learning guitar, keep listening. Welcome to the Beginner Guitar Academy podcast, a podcast where we provide tips and tricks to take the confusion out of learning to play guitar. Beginner Guitar Academy is a fast-growing online guitar school, taking you from complete beginner to well-rounded guitarist. So are you ready for your next guitar lesson? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here's your host, Amazon best-selling author of the book, Learn to Play Electric Guitar, Paul Andrews. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Beginner Guitar Academy podcast, episode number 98. And this week's episode, I'm going to talk about why 90% of beginner guitar players quit in the first 12 months and how you can stop that happening to you. So it's the first in a two-part series. But before we dive into this week's episode, a little bit of housekeeping or Academy news to go through for the BJ members. And that is I've just released this month's Academy show. So the Academy show is a little show I put together. It's about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, where I go through everything that was released in the previous month within Beginner Guitar Academy. So everything that was released in September. So if you haven't been checking your emails, we see we haven't had a chance to sign in and check out what's been going on in Beginner Guitar Academy in the last few weeks. This will bring you up to speed, make sure you're not missed out on any important bits and pieces and show you where to find them in the Academy. Now this is live. If you go to the community, you see a little banner at the top of your screen, which will direct you to the video. So go and check out now guys, that is live in the Academy. So that is all the news I have for this week. So let's dive into this week's content. 90% quit, but that's not gonna be you. As I said in the introduction to this podcast, this is the first in a two-part series. So the overall title is 90% quit, but that's not gonna be you. And this came from a study that Fender put together, assessing beginner guitar players, and they found out that 90% of beginners quit in the first 12 months. Now, the reason for this was twofold. The first reason was because of the long process of learning. Learning guitar just seemed to take too long. And the second one was lack of time. And not enough time to practice and actually get anywhere and feel like they're improving. So this week's episode is going to be about the long process of learning. So we're going to talk about that and how you can get over that kind of hurdle. And next week's episode is going to be about lack of time. So how you can improve on guitar, how you can reach your goals, but you might not have much time to practice and how you get the most out of the little time you've got. So let's dive in and the long process of learning. Now, one of the biggest problems that I find with beginner guitar players, especially people that come to my school or BJ, you know, any, just basically come to me for guitar lessons is they normally do so because they're inspired to do so by watching maybe their favorite band. They might've seen their favorite guitar player and thought, they make that look easy. So I wanna give that a go. I wanna be a guitar player. I wanna play some of my favorite tunes. Then the problem is they pick up the guitar and realize just actually how difficult the guitar is. The problem with their kind of rock star they're watching on stage is they make it look quite easy when actually learning guitar is quite difficult. I remember when I got my first guitar when I was 16 and it was a birthday present and I remember getting it birthday morning and thinking, awesome, I was listening to Green Day and Blink-182 and Nirvana, all that kind of stuff at that time. And I remember holding that guitar, plug it into the amp and then just thinking, ah, now what do I do? And then just kind of hitting the strings thinking, this doesn't sound like basket case. This doesn't smell like teen spirit. And then the realization that, oh yeah, this is actually gonna take a little bit of time to get this. Um, and I think everyone's been there. Everyone's found obviously this is what kills it quite often for beginning to in the first few weeks or months is it's challenging. It takes a while. It takes a while to build a calluses on your fingers. It takes a while to get coordination. It takes a little while for it just to feel like you're all fingers and thumbs. So you start getting your chords under your fingers. You start being able to move between them. You start get something that sounds like a tune and something that sounds like music. So we've all been there. And you can probably sympathize why this is the number one reason most people quit. It does take a long time. And if you don't start when you're learning to play the guitar with realistic expectations that this is gonna take longer than a few days, then you're gonna quit because it's gonna take a lot longer than a few days. So I always say that to new students have some realistic expectations. This is gonna take a while. Have in the back of your mind, it's gonna take probably three to six months before you finish the first level on BJ. It's gonna take three to six months to you've got a few songs under your fingers to find that you've got something that starts to sound like, oh, I'm, I'm a guitar player now. And it's gonna take six to 12 months to you actually start playing songs that you like and start feeling like, okay, I can tell people I play guitar now because I can actually show them what I can do. 
Again, I'm talking big timeframes here because it's, it's not always, oh, you're going to be able to do this in three months because everyone's always different. At BJ, the great thing about it is I have stats. I can see when people have finished levels. I can see how long it's taken them to do it. In general, BJ students do move quicker, fun enough, than my offline school students, which I'm, I think I said this in the last episode, which shocked me when I looked back at the stats and saw that. But obviously it makes sense because BJ students have access to BJ and me through the videos and all that kind of stuff whenever they like. They can just log in and do it. When people come to my studio, they normally have a lesson once a week. Then they come back the next week. So unless they're practicing obviously a lot at home, they're just coming to that lesson every week. Obviously it's going to be slow. But people that are learning online tend to be more self-motivated. So picking up a guitar more frequently and making fast progress. So to give you an idea, four months is normally a good benchmark for the average student to finish level one of beginner guitar academy. I have had people do it in 12 months. I've had people do it in one month. It really depends how I suppose self-motivated someone is, how much time they're practicing. So if they're practicing half an hour a day, then they're doing sort of about three and a half hours a week practice, then they're going to see quite quick results. But if you're practicing you know, a couple of times a week, obviously it's going to be slower. But again, this is a great thing. You can log in and you take as long as basically you take. So if you have that in the back of your mind, you know, it takes about four months just to get through level one. And by the time you've got to the end of level one, you can play a handful of common chords. The five chords we do in level one, C, G, D, A minor, and E minor. You can change between them smoothly. You've got some rhythms under your fingers. So whole notes, half notes, corners, and eighth notes. You can play a number of songs and simple riffs. So the big songs we go through, Songbird by Oasis, Horse No Name by America, Ellen Rigby by The Beatles, Knock Hem's Door, Bob Dylan, and he said Bob Marley, wrong Bob, uh, Sweet Home Chicago, Eric Clapton's version, and loads of riffs as well, Peter Gunn, Pretty Woman, Smoke on the Water, and a few others along the way. That's what we can do in four months, which is quite a lot. There's a number of songs there, a number of riffs, and you've got, more importantly, a load of skills down. Four months. So again, not four days, not four hours that you might be seeing on some Facebook ads. Learn guitar in an evening, learn guitar in a week. Yeah, that doesn't happen. But that gives you, again, this realistic expectation. It's going to take a few months to get these basics on the go. And our level one is beginner level. Level two is late beginner. It's when we start building on top of these basic skills and foundations that you set in level one and make it that bit harder or that bit better, that bit more experience. So you're sounding, again, you just build on top and getting better and better. Now, one thing I want to touch about here when we're talking about kind of um, how long it's going to take, when we talk about the long process of learning, I thought it'd be cool to talk about the 10,000 hour rule. Now, if you haven't heard of the 10,000 hour rule, it was popularized by Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers. And the idea is it takes 10,000 hours to become master at something, to master something, to get to a level mastery, it'll take 10,000 hours. Now, this actually introduced this whole concept by Anders Ericsson, and it's that research that Malcolm Gladwell then used. And the 10,000 hour rule has been somewhat hijacked and kind of taken away from its, what it was originally. Now, what they were doing in their original research when Anders Ericsson was doing this, doing this was looking at world-class athletes, looking at very, very high-level people. So to get 10,000 hours, you're talking about being the best in the world. You're not talking about just being able to play a few songs and having some fun and learning a hobby. You're talking about being the best in the world. And that often gets overlooked. People think you've got to have 10,000 hours to become good at it. This is not true. 10,000 hours is to become the best at it. So ignore the 10,000 hour rule. A much better book to look at is The First 20 Hours, How to Learn Anything Fast by Josh Kaufman. And he is really cool in this book. He goes through how you can basically learn anything in 20 hours. But more importantly, he breaks down how to learn something in 20 hours. So if you can learn guitar in 20 hours, you just go on YouTube and bat about a few videos. How he goes about it is looks at the skills. He dissects what he's trying to learn into its skill components like we do at BGA, we look at the seven essential skills and then build that up into the complex. You start really simple, then build it up. So I definitely recommend checking out the first 20 hours. So ignore the 10,000 hour rule unless you wanna be the best in the world. Again, a lot of people get hooked on that for no reason. Again, it's been kind of hijacked. Um, so ignore it. It's really, it's an interesting uh, concept. It's really interesting looking at the evidence and the kind of research paper of Anders Ericsson. Really interesting, you know, if you, Mal Gladwell is one of my favorite authors, so definitely check out Outliers. But if you want to be a good guitar player, you do not have to invest 10,000 hours. Ignore that. Now, an important thing to think about here as well 
is yes, it is a long process of learning. We've now kind of talked about how it's important to recognize that, it's important to have realistic expectations. We're not gonna learn it overnight. It's gonna take a while to pass first level on BJ. Set yourself the challenge of four months if you can practice most days. If you can't, set yourself a challenge of maybe six to maybe eight months, something like that. Now, next thing I thought would be interested to talk about is guitar is a marathon, it's not a sprint. It does take its time. Now, this is quite um, quite a good topic to talk about because I just run the London Marathon, the Sunday just gone. And as I was running around, I was thinking about this topic of this podcast I was going to record, you know, the next week, and thinking about how it relates to running a marathon and this whole idea of that it does take time. And we've got to try and enjoy the journey rather than just the finish. Now, it was great crossing the finish line and getting my medal for the London Marathon, but it was amazing running around London. It was amazing seeing the sights. It was amazing running down the embankment and seeing Big Ben and seeing the London Eye and running up past Buckingham Palace. Those were kind of the main things I'm going to remember than crossing the finish line. As you're learning guitar, make sure you are enjoying the process. Make sure you're enjoying what you're doing, enjoying the journey, rather than just enjoying the song you're trying to learn or just trying to enjoy or trying to get to the end of the level or something like that. You know, with BJ, we're ticking things off. We've got this structured curriculum, which is awesome, but it's really easy to try and go too fast through it, to try and get through those classes, to send me your progress check, then keep going, get through the next classes, send me your level assessment. So you're trying to plow through the classes, try and plow through the levels without really spending time and enjoying the levels by taking the content and then exploring it outside of BJ and learning some other little bits and pieces to support it or other parts of the website. I see this all the time with students that focus just on classes and they miss out on the 30 something workshops I've now done that you can go through to learn certain riffs and certain genres, certain guitar players, certain styles, that kind of thing. The quick tips, all that kind of other stuff, the songs and extra riffs on the website. They spend just head down on the classes. So enjoy the journey, open your eyes, take it slower and enjoy the journey, not just the destination. The other thing is obviously setting goals. Great thing again, we at BJ, the goal could be finishing the level. But what other goals? So learning certain songs or performing in front of your family at Christmas or, you know, going on stage down your local pub and performing on for an open mic night or just jamming with some friends. Having a goal is super important. But then we need to have mile markers along the way. Now, as I was running, when I hit 13 miles, I saw the 13 mile mile marker and I was like, oh man, I'm halfway there. And then the next mile marker, and it just kept me going, right, I need to get to the next mile marker, I need to get to the next mile marker. This is the same kind of thing that you can do. Set yourself these mile markers. These could just be um, certain skills. Right, I wanna get to, if you're a level one student, I wanna get to that D chord next. Okay, I've got that, now I'm gonna get to the C chord next. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that together in the song that we're gonna work on, Knock Heaven's Door, where we put those chords together. You know, so you can have these mile marks along the way, rather than just thinking I'll get to the end of level one, look at the different stepping points, the different stepping stones or markers, if you like, through that level, and that'll really help you move forward and keep you focused and pushing through this long journey of getting better at guitar. The other thing is to obviously follow a structured method, not just bounce around videos to end up going around in circles. Quite often people get bored and annoyed about their journey on the guitar because they feel like they're not getting anywhere. They're going around in circles. And quite often this is because they're not following a structured format. They're just learning bits and pieces of videos. Quite often they don't join together. So you watch one video. It's the beginning of video, cool. I have learned a few chords in a song. Next video, oh, it's bar chords. And they found out they've actually jumped about 50 steps going from that first video to the next video because bar chords are an intermediate chord. They're not a beginner chord type. So you've got to be super careful about that. Obviously, follow instruction method means you'll follow things in the order you should. So you're not going to jump and get frustrated because you're learning things which are just out of sequence and too difficult. So don't get overwhelmed. Now, this is something that I found training for the marathon. There's so many training plans or so many videos on internet talking about hydration and nutrition and things like that that I followed just one math and handbook I just followed that website I read some of their blogs they sent me that email every Monday the Monday mail I think they called it and I would read some of their things on there about different stretch and stuff like that but I followed this guy's plan I got his master class and I followed that I ignored everything else I focused on one thing because I was feeling I was getting overwhelmed by trying to follow a bit of everything trying to get advice from here there and everywhere it didn't work I wanted to be focused and make sure I'm going in one direction so definitely when you're learning guitar try not to get overwhelmed which is so easy I still get overwhelmed <laughs> with the amount of courses and you know things I'm learning the books I'm, I'm working from it's very easy 
to get overwhelmed, get pulled in different directions, you find out you, you're kind of chasing your tail. You're going around in circles. You're not making progress. Try and focus on one thing, spend a bit of time on that, and then try and um, work on a few other things to support that. But make sure you, you know where you're going. Make sure you have a solid plan and you're not getting overwhelmed. And in getting support and feedback. So getting support and feedback in the marathon was huge. You know, London is known for a supportive crowd and our oh man, do they support. Because you're running around, everyone's shouting your name because I had my name on my top. Everyone, I'm just not that well known. You no, know, people around London don't know B BGA. <laughs> I had my name on my top. Um, they're cheering you on. There's music, there's bands playing. The support is huge. The fact that it didn't feel like I was running a marathon. I was looking at my watch. I was like three hours in. And it felt like I hadn't been running that long because it's just so much going on. It's just, it's just fantastic. So make sure you've got support. That could be just from a free Facebook group. That could be from a paid website like BJ where you get support from me and other BJ members. And make sure you get feedback. Feedback is super important. What you don't want to happen is that you get a few years into your playing and then you realize, oh, I've been playing that wrong. I've been holding my pick differently or wrong. So now I'm trying to work on, you know, picking fast because I'm holding it so awkward I can't do that because I just can't get the technique. Make sure you start off well. Make sure you've got the foundation so you can build on that later on. That's one of the things that really set people back is developing the bad habits. And then you don't find that out till you start then trying to work on certain techniques. And those bad habits do not help working on those techniques. So just a few ideas I had running around London town um, with my four hours and 44 minutes. It took me to finish a London marathon. So I've plenty of time to think about this episode. And again, these parallels between the long journey. It took me a little while to obviously run 26 miles and train for that. It takes a while to learn guitar. And there's a few ideas there. Take away from this episode and kind of prepare you for this journey, for the long road that's ahead of us as learning guitar. But also enjoy it. Also make sure we're having fun. I keep, I keep saying it's a long road and it is, but it doesn't take long. In the first lesson, we learn a first song at BGA and then there's our mile marker. We've got a tune down, have some fun with that. Enjoy it, put it to the music, have a little sing along and enjoy the journey. That's the number one biggest thing I think I can say is enjoy the journey. In times of my guitar playing, I've got so fixated and stressed out on trying to get better and trying to improve, logging my practice time, trying to hit certain BPMs on the metronome that it took the fun out of it. Yes, we want to be disciplined in our practice. Yes, we got to have the structure, but we got to have fun as well. So make sure you've got a little bit of everything and yeah, you're going to enjoy the journey. So make sure basically you're not falling into those traps I just talked about. It's going to take longer. You're going to get fed up. You're going to get demotivated and you're going to quit. Be prepared for the journey because it's a fun one. It is probably going to be longer than you expect it to get to the level you want to, but it's worth it because guitar is awesome. Well, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Beginning Guitar Academy podcast. And especially if you've just started out playing guitar, you're in that first year, this hopefully will give you some ideas, some strategies to push you through that first year, not become the 90% that quit and become the 10% that continue and go on for years and years. And guitar is just a great outlet, a great hobby, a great thing to bring into your life and to have some fun with. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Beginning Guitar Academy podcast because this was the first in a two-part series. And next week will be the second in this two-part series where we're going to talk about the second reason people quit in the first 12 months or most people, 90% of people quit. And that is because of lack of time. So we're talking about that, give you some ideas of strategies next week to get you over that hurdle. And again, get you past this first year and get you into the 10%. That is my mission to get you in as part of the 10%. Now, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate a rate and review, whichever podcast app you are using to listen to me today. And that's super easy. It only takes a few minutes, but really helps me get the podcast out to more people and helps me see that people are enjoying what I'm putting down. If you're learning guitar online or you've been trying to learn guitar online, but you're stressing out a little bit because you don't know if you're doing it right or wrong, come and learn with me at beginningguitaracademy.com, my online guitar school where you don't only get a structured online curriculum. You can log in anytime you like and watch classes with me, just like you have at my offline guitar school. The classes consist of warm-ups, skills, and songs, just like you have in a class at my offline school, but it is online for your convenience. You can log in whenever you like. But you also get access to me. I'm your teacher. You can email me, text, video, whenever you like. There's a little button on the website. You just click that, and you can literally send me an audio, text, or video whenever you have any troubles, any questions. So there's a teacher always there, well, me, <laughs> helping you out whenever you need it. And this is for the very small sum, which is $39 a month. Now, I dare you to try and find something cheaper than that that offers 
the one-to-one support that Beginner Guitar Academy offers. It's like private one-to-one lessons, but with the added extra of logging in whenever you like. For 365 days a year, you can have access to the content. So come and check us out for a two-week trial just for one dollar at beginnerguitaracademy.com. So that is it for me this week, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a fantastic week. Keep practicing and I'll chat to you next week for the next installment. Thank you for listening to the Beginner Guitar Academy podcast. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. For more information, updates, or to start your membership today, please visit us at www.beginnerguitaracademy.com. Until next time, take care. 